hi all so uh, we were on our feature selection techniques so uh, i'll uh, again repeat uh, so we know that there are three types of feature selection techniques filter methods then second is wrapper method wrapper method and third is embedded methods right so in uh, our previous videos we have already covered filter method and wrapper method so now it's time to cover embedded methods okay so we'll get the answer to the question explain embedded methods of feature selection techniques okay so what are the embedded methods so basically filter methods and wrapper methods have a disadvantage that uh, they have uh, they have very high variance okay so embedded method doesn't suffer with disadvantage or high variability okay so now embedded methods are basically of two types first is regularization regularization and second is the pre based methods okay so what is regularization first technique regularization so first of all regularization is of various types so for feature selection we basically use lasso regression okay so lasso stands for least absolute shrinkage and selection operator Okay, so uh, basically what this does, uh, it shrinks the coefficient that is weights towards zero. It shrinks the coefficient, coefficients that is weights towards zero. Okay, so this means that you are analyzing more complex models to avoid overfitting. So what, how to interpret this? If the coefficient is zero, if the coefficient is zero, then that feature is not taken into consideration. Thus, it is a way to discard the feature. Okay. So if the coefficient is zero, we will discard the feature. Okay. So uh, lasso regression that is given by summation i equals to one to n y i x i dash beta square plus lambda summation uh, sorry, summation summation uh, i equals to 1 to m beta j. So what is this lambda? This lambda controls the amount of shrinkage, controls the amount of shrinkage. Okay, the larger uh, the value of uh, uh, lambda, the greater the amount of shrinkages and the simpler the model you are getting. Okay, so this is how regression method, uh, sorry, regularization method works. Okay, so next is the tree-based methods. Tree-based methods. Okay, so tree-based methods basically have various types. That is decision tree. Okay. Uh, random forest. Random forest. Extra tree classifiers. Extra tree classifiers. And XG boost. Okay. So these are some uh, tree based algorithm that are used for feature selection. Okay. XG boost. Okay. So let's take the example of random forest. What happens in random forest basically? <laughs> random forest um, uh, uses the mean discrete uh, mean uh, uh, disc decrease impurity okay so basically it uses guinea impurity or you can say guinea index okay to estimate the feature importance okay to estimate the feature importance so the lower the value of guinea index the uh, more important the feature is okay so the lower the value of Guinea index, 
द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट द फीचर इज ओके सो गिनी इंडेक्स द फॉर्मूला ऑफ गिनी इंप्योरिटी इज गिवन बाय वन माइनस समिशन आई इक्वल्स टू वन टू P of i square, where P is uh, sum of squared probabilities of each class. Okay, thus the embedded method train a single machine learning model and select features based on the feature importance returned by that model. Okay, so they tend to work very well in practice and are faster to complete. Okay, so that's all about the embedded methods. So we have covered all three types of techniques. That is filter method, wrapper method, and embedded methods. And the use of each method depends on the data set and the requirement. Okay, so that's all about the feature selection techniques. We'll cover a more advanced topics in uh, more uh, another videos. Till then, bye bye. Take care.